On Halloween night, no different than any other night. Um, he normally goes out and hangs with his friends. Um, I normally don't check up on him. He's normally not a, that kind of kid where you need to stand over his shoulder. I got a knock on the door from a state trooper saying he was in a wreck, and uh, it was just hightailing it to the hospital after that. I first met JR in January at St. Louis Children's Hospital. When I first saw the wound, I, I honestly had not seen a wound to that degree before. And looking at it, I thought he's gonna be at Rankin at some point in time. He had broken, I can't remember how many ribs. Um, he had broken several bones in his back. He had broken his foot in about three different places. And then, but the, the worst injury of his was, he had a, a puncture in his abdomen. Every other day he was having another surgery. They wouldn't take him off the ventilator until the surgeries were complete. Nobody wants to see their, their kids in that predicament because of his um, intestinal injuries, he developed fistulas where fluid was leaking out of the intestines. The general surgeon felt that JR would benefit more from coming to Rankin Jordan from not only a wound care standpoint, but also a therapy standpoint. Honestly, when they told me he was um have to go to a rehab facility, I, I was nervous at first. And I started talking to the doctors and I took a tour of Rankin Jordan here and it seemed like the best fit for him. When I met JR, I had to take a step back. He couldn't eat anything and drink anything. It was uh, definitely one of those that, okay, this is a first that I've seen in my years of a f being a physician. I knew it was gonna be a challenge. His days were um, filled pretty much with Dressings at the bedside, sometimes the dressing change would take one to two hours. Sometimes we would be there four to five hours trying to get it to work and last. Barb and I would probably be in there with Dr. Connie and uh, sometimes another nurse. We'd have to close it up before he could ever do anything. Our job was to keep him distracted and make sure he was coping positively with this care whether that was listening to music or making sure his hands were kept busy or just kind of engaging him in, in general conversation really helped him cope with everything. As JR got more comfortable with us, his personality started to come out and shine more and he definitely got more comfortable and just was really able to advocate for himself, which was our goal. Surgery was going to be in June and JR was planning surgery was gonna be in June. We saw the surgeon and the surgeon said to JR, we, we're not gonna do surgery until July. You could see the disappointment in his face. I said, what are, you, what are you thinking about this? And he just in a disappointed voice said, I really thought it was gonna be in a month. I said, me too. Hearing him say he really appreciated me and everything I did, it made me want to cry. And just to have that and to see how well he's done, it really makes it worthwhile. It really does. Oh, there he is. Look how good he looks. Good to see you. I'm good. You guys look so good. Look at you. Oh, my gosh. I forgot how tall you are. Oh, my gosh. Look how good you look. They were nice, friendly. Gave you for, something to look forward to in the day. They actually put forth the effort to make you feel welcome. It reminded me of more like home than a hospital. Breaking Jordan was by far the, the best. Even if I wasn't here, they would call me and let me know what things were going on or, you know, give me a heads up every step of the process at Rankin. They, they let me know every little detail. They kept up on his wound changes. You could see him healing and getting better. Now, if you look at him, you can't tell he, any different than any other other kid. He does normal teenage stuff, you know. He goes, hangs out with his friends, stay out late. And it 
normal teenager stuff, which I'm glad he's doing. To see him come back fully healed and living his life makes it all worth the time and effort that is given at Rankin Jordan. With all that kiddo went through, the long duration of his hospitalization of eight, nine months, that he pretty much has endured that and, and has returned back to a place that he can now go on forward. And that's what you want for everybody. Rankin Jordan is unique because we can make that happen. Stay positive, keep your hopes up, don't get down, because it will get better.